Hello and welcome to Rocksteady Boxing for Parkinson's in Encinitas, California. My name is Ingrid Johnson. I'm a master's degree exercise physiologist and I will be leading you through this workout today. Today we are going to focus on fluidity, fluidity of movement. And our bodies are made up of 75 to 80% of water and so our bodies naturally want to move with fluidity. It's a natural way. Fluidity starts with breath. So let's go ahead and work on our breath a little bit. Take your feet apart, inhale up, draw the breath in and exhale down. Soften your arms, soften your knees. Inhale up and exhale down. And inhale up and exhale down. On the next inhale, we're going to go ahead and side bend, then inhale up and exhale, side bend the other way. Inhale up, exhale, side bend, inhale up and exhale, let the air out. Let's do this one more time, inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale. Beautiful. And so let's go ahead and just drop those arms. Very nice. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start with a nice circular movement of the shoulders. We're going to move them back first. And so here we go. So five and four and three and two and one. Let's go ahead and move them forward. Again, keep breathing naturally. And and deeply and calmly. A calm breath leads to a fluid movement. And two and one. Very nice. Let's go ahead and now move our sh uh, elbows. Try to isolate the elbows from the shoulders. And let's reverse it. Again, we try to really get that fluid movement. So by doing a circular movement, we do bring synovial fluid to the joints and the joints love it. It's healthy for the joints. And so reverse one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight. Okay, we're gonna do a nice circular movement now through our hips and loosen up our hips. Before a boxing match, many Boxers, they loosen up their hips just like this with big hip circular movements and reverse. And seven and eight. All right, let's go to our knee joints now and move our knee joints also in a nice circular movement. Keep your weight on your heels, so we're not really pushing weight into the knees. We're just allowing them to circle. I'm also not pushing on my kneecaps. I'm putting my hands right above it just for support. Great. Moving down to our ankles next. We're gonna go ahead and circle our ankles. And about eight to 10 times. And we circle them back around. And let's do the other ankle. So let's circle it out. And reverse. Five, six, seven, and eight. And now we're gonna go back to the first leg and we're gonna add the toes. So we're actually gonna make the circle so big that we go over our toes, like so. The toes are very important that they are moving fluidly because they are responsible for helping you to walk for your gait. So if toes become stiff, so your walking also becomes smaller and stiffer. And as I often say, walking is not a birthright. We did not and we are not born 
knowing how to walk. It is a learned activity. And so because it is a learned activity, it, it can be um, unlearned and we wanna keep ourselves walking our whole lives. Okay, for the next one, we're gonna do some wave movements. So wave, of course, water wave is a fluid movement. So we're gonna take our hands, clasp them, and just move them through a nice wave. Mm -hmm. So think about moving from your wrists, moving from your elbows, and then shoulders finally. And there you go. Okay, awesome. All right, we can also do some waves uh, separately. So we're gonna lift the arm. When we lift the arm, we lift the arm from the shoulder, then the elbow, and then the hand lifts all the way up. And when I lower the arm, it's gonna start to go down from the shoulder, then the elbow, and then your wrist. So shoulder, elbow, wrist, shoulder, elbow, wrist, shoulder, elbow, wrist, shoulder, elbow, wrist. And make sure your arm goes all the way up and then all the way down before you change directions. And one more, shoulder, elbow, wrist, shoulder, elbow, wrist. Okay, other arm, shoulder, elbow, wrist, shoulder, elbow, wrist. So part of fluidity is the concept of organization. So we need to organize our movements properly so that they remain fluid. So first I move my shoulder, then my elbow, then my wrist, shoulder, elbow, wrist. If I did it um, in any other way, it would not be a very fluid movement. And one more. Up and down, super. Okay, now we're gonna start to move and we're going to practice moving from one direction of movement to another direction of movement in a fluid way. In order for you to do that, Again, it, the movements always start in your brain, all movements start in your brain, and it's the brain that needs to uh, signal the body to keep a uh, fluid movement going and change directions. Okay, so we're gonna do two movements here. One is gonna be a knee lift, like so, six, seven, and eight. And the second one is going to be a step tap, step tap, four, five, six and seven and eight. Okay, now we're gonna put these two movements together. So we're gonna move fluidly from one to the next. So here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and one two three four five six seven and eight and one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six last time we're gonna do now in fours four three two one out two three four and one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four and one, two, last time, here we go, and one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four, super. Okay, next we're going to move forward um, and we're going to side and forward and back. So I'm gonna tap uh, back with my leg, forward with the arm, and tap back. So tap back with the leg, forward with the arm. Here we go, five, six, seven, and eight. And the sideways movement is going to be a star, a star lift. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Let's do this one more time. Same arm, same leg goes back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, now eight. I'm gonna put my foot down and then I'm gonna start with the other leg. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now let's do this on four. Four, three, two, one, and four. 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 Three, two, and one. Okay, let's go ahead and jog in place. Jog in place a little bit. Okay, so next fluid uh, fluid movement we're going to actually do is a diagonal movement. So we're going to move crisscross behind, crisscross behind. That's number one. And then the second part is a sideways movement forward. So once I've crossed behind, I'm going to now move this way with my front leg and come back, front leg, come back, front leg, come back, front leg, come back. Okay, so we're going to put these together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and now front leg comes back, front leg and back, front and back, front and back. Four, three, two, and let's do this now on four, everybody. Four, three, two, one, and four. Three, two, one, and cross behind. Two, three, four, and front. Two, three, four, and behind. Two, three, four, and front. Two, three, and four. Great, high five. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and swing the arm. So we're gonna do one arm at a time. We're gonna just swing it back and forth, back and forth like so. Uh huh. And make sure that you're not guiding the arm, you're letting it loose. And that's great right there. And let's do the other arm. We're going to swing it until it loosens up, until you're not guiding it anymore. There. So four and three and two and one. Now we're going to do both arms. So we're going to swing, 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 and swing. Okay, then naturally we'll stop at a certain point, right? Four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna do a full circle swing now. So a full circle swing and reach, full circle. So keep that looseness in the arm like spaghetti noodles and full circle, full circle, full circle, and full circle. We're gonna add a step to it. So full circle step, full circle step. Full circle step, full circle step, and back and forth. So if you can, you want, you can add a little skip to it, and skip, and four, three. Bodies love to play, two, and one. Awesome, okay, high five. So next, let's go into our boxing routine. So you can put on your gloves if you have gloves. If you don't, that's okay. You can also use some small weights. So today I want to kind of go over a little bit on how to fluidly move from one punch to the next. So if you notice, when you are doing the one-two punch, your shoulder is an internal rotation. So internal rotation, you start neutral here, internal rotate here. Good. Just notice that. And so we are turning the shoulder first, 
and then stretching out the arm. So four, three, and two, and one. Okay, so now we're gonna go from one, bring it back, neutral, and we're gonna outer rotate and go to a uh, five. So one, five, one, five. I internal, I ex external, I internal, I external. So four, three, two, and one. And the same thing on the other side. So internal, this is a two punch and a six punch. And so I really focus today on the shoulder. What's the shoulder doing? Good, so shoulder leads the way. Three, and two, and one. Awesome. Okay, let's do a high five. Bring your arms up. Okay, so next we're gonna do some uh, hooks. So three, four, three, four. Okay, the hooks, we're gonna kinda keep them small today so that they can be more fluid. Feel your back muscles, your upper back rotating. So four, three, and two, and one, awesome. All right, so now we're going to work on the legs. So the legs are going to be, or the feet are gonna be working, moving forward and back, forward and back. So forward and back, and forward and back. So we're gonna go forward, one, two, and back. Forward, one, two, back. Forward, one, two, back. Forward, one, two, and back. Forward, one, two, and back. And forward, one, two, and back. Now we're gonna back step and come back. So I back step, come back, back step, come back. Back and back. And we're gonna put this together with a forward step. So it's a forward step, come back, back step, come back. Forward, come back, and back, come forward. Forward, come back, back, come forward. Forward, back, back, come forward. Okay, if you've gotten that fluid, we're gonna add the punch. So I punch forward with a one punch. I punch with my right as I go back. So forward, back, 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 and last one, forward, and back. Super. Okay, let's jog in place and let the arms hang. This is called a boxer bounce. And the boxers do this, this bounce between sets so that they can relax their shoulders and arms. Again, so that they can maintain the fluidity of movement. So now we're gonna put the right foot forward, left foot back, and the same thing, we're going to step forward with the right and punch with the right, bring it back, step back with the left and punch with the left. So forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, last two, and last one. Very nice. Okay, let's go ahead and do some heel raises in between sets. And when you do the heel raises, remember to lift from your core. So the ribs lift off your hips, my hips lift off my knees, and my knees lift off my ankles, in that order. So it's not, we're not overworking the calves. Okay, we're working the whole body together as one unit. Now next we're going to do some toe raises. So the toe raises, place your feet hip width apart and lift the toes. And so to make that more fluid, of course, you have to add a lot of breath and you have to get the uh, weight, your weight back. 
And here we go, your center of gravity back. Five, four, this one is hard to get fluid. Three, and two, and one. Okay, shake out those feet, shake out the arms. And now we're gonna go, another pattern is gonna be our three, four, five, six pattern. So again, let's feel the movement, the internal rotation of the hook to external rotation of the uppercut. So three, four, five, six. Let's keep those hooks small so it's easy to transfer from one hook to the next. Three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. Just move your body side to side so that the punch can happen. There you go. And three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six. I move to the right, to the left, I move to the right, I move to the left. Three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're gonna move to the left and to the right now. So I'm gonna step to the left, step to the right, step to the left, step to the right. Nice soft knees, stepping side to side. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, well, let's add the hooks together. So it's going to be hook, hook, step, step, hook, hook, step, step hook, hook, step, step, and hook, hook, step, step. Okay, we're going to add a hook to each step now. So when I step with my left, I'm going to do a right hook, and when I step to my right, I'm going to do a left hook. Okay, so looking like this. Step, 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 step. So nice round shape with the elbow like you are tracing a bowl. So step, 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 and step, and step. Okay, beautiful. Let's shake out the hands. Let's shake out the feet and boxer bounce. Now, boxers that are training for fluidity, one of the things that they are really focusing on is the head movement. So our head movement helps our bodies to move better and also uh, increases the fluidity of the movement. So we're gonna go ahead and think about our head movement, which really sits on the shoulder, so it's basically a head and shoulder movement all together. Now, in order for you to move your head and shoulders fluidly, you, the movement really needs to come from the core. So we're gonna move our head side to side, side to side. We're gonna look to the left, look to the right, side to side, and move, and move, and move. Turn the shoulders a little bit. Five, four, three, and two, and one. All right, so next we're going to do some defensive movements. They are your slips, your ducks, and your weaves or rolls. Okay, so hands here, we're gonna do a boxing stance, one, two, and we're going to do a, uh, a slip. So the slip that, uh, the way I teach it is just really a uh, more of a fitness uh, movement rather than a boxing slip per se, so it's not that accurate to a boxing. Um, boxer, but it's better for the movement of uh, the core. So we go one, two, slip, slip. We don't uh, bring our backs down or anything. We just move from the waist. All right, so let's do that. So one, two, slip, slip. One, two, slip, slip. One, two, slip, slip. And if you notice, I'm slipping to my right first because my right hip is back. So this side is open. So it's easier to turn to the right and make a more fluid movement. So to the right, it's easier. And to the left, you'll notice it's a little bit harder. And one more, and here we go. Slip, 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 sl
slip, slip. Now from slip, we're gonna go right into a duck. So I'm gonna do my one, two movement. I'm gonna slip, slip. When I come back, I'm gonna go right into a duck. So the duck starts uh, from your hips and not the knees. So we go back with the hips and come back up, very much like a squat. All right, so let's put this together. One, two, slip, slip, duck, and up. 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 One, two, slip, slip, duck, come up. And after this one, one more. Slap, punch, and slip, slip, duck, and up. We're gonna add a third one, which is the weave or the roll. So one, two, slip, slip, duck, come up. And we're gonna weave from the left shoulder to the right shoulder. So we're gonna weave to the open side. So here, and then I'm open here. So one, two, slip, slip, duck, up, weave to the open side, and then turn back to center. One, two, slip, slip, duck, up, weave, and center. One, two, slip, slip, duck, up, weave to the center. One, two, slip, slip, duck, come up, weave to the center. One, two, slip, slip, duck, come up, weave to the center. And last one, one, two, slip, slip, duck, come up, and weave to the center. Okay, high five. Okay, so let's kick out the legs. Okay, so right in between these two, we're gonna do um, the same thing on the other side. We're gonna kick out the legs and we're gonna do a hamstring curl. So we're gonna move uh, between these two movements and seven and eight. Here we go. So kick, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, four, five, seven and eight and kick two three four five six seven and eight and back two three four five six seven and eight and front two three four five six seven and eight and back two three four five six seven and eight and on four now four three two one and 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 give yourself a high five. All right, we can do the same drill on the other side. So right foot forward, left foot back. It's a one, two, and slip, slip. Here we go. One, two, slip, slip. One, two, I'm going to the open side for that first slip. One, two, slip, 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 slip. And one, two, slip, slip. Now we're gonna add a duck to this. Ready? One, two, slip, slip, duck, come up. One, two, slip, slip, duck, come up. One, two, slip, slip, duck, and up. One, two, slip, slip, duck come up one two slip slip duck come up one two slip slip duck and up one two slip slip duck come up one two slip slip duck come up one two slip slip duck come up awesome take a deep breath let's add the weave here we go one two slip slip Duck, come up, weave to the open side. 
One, two, slip, slip, duck, come up, weave to the open side and center. One, two, slip, slip, duck, up, weave to the open side. One, two, slip, slip, duck, come up, weave to the open side. One, two, slip, slip, duck, come up, and weave to the open side. Last one. One, two, duck, come up, and weave to the other side. And high five. All right, let's do some final stretches. We're gonna do, we're gonna keep it a little short here. So I usually recommend upper body stretches for 20 seconds lower body stretches for 30 seconds at least. So a straight arm across. Now you're gonna bend the elbow and pat yourself on the shoulder, push it in a little further. Okay, so here we go, uh, arm across, pull it in. Bend the elbow, pat yourself on the upper back. Feel free to hold them longer if you need to. And relax. Okay, clasp your hands together and push the palms forward. Lift your body and side bend. Good. Notice after you've been Doing some exercises, you're warmed up, how much more fluid your body moves. Yes, good, all right. We're gonna work on our spinal fluidity. So we're gonna go ahead and just bring our shoulders forward, palms are out, back of the palms in, and then come back up. And so round forward and come back up. Round forward, back up. Three. and one. Okay, let's see if we can go all the way to the floor now. So inhale up, exhale, you're gonna round forward as if you are water going over a waterfall. So water going over a waterfall, feel free to bend your knees, and then just drag yourself back up. So very loose arms. I had a teacher, she used to call them ragdoll arms. There's no stiffness, no guiding them. So let's go ahead and do that a couple more times. Inhale and exhale. Go ahead and round yourself forward from head through the cervical, through your thoracic, through the lumbar. Stay at the bottom, take some breaths if you can, and then slowly work your way up from your lumbar, through thoracic, through your cervical spine. And then lift the arms for a nice big breath, inhale. And exhale one more time. You're gonna round forward through cervical, through thoracic, through lumbar, until you're all the way down. Take some breaths there. And come back through. Again, we, fluid movement is an organized movement. Lumbar, thoracic, cervical, spine, all the way up. All right, thank you so much for joining me and have a great week. I'll see you next time.